Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Reading today in the book of Psalms, we're in Psalm number 10. I'll begin my reading in verse 7. His mouth, talking about a wicked person, is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Eventually, a wicked heart spills out of a person's mouth in the form of words. Pay attention to the words that speak, that people speak, even the so-called slips of the tongue. They can be very telling, those slips. People can put a guard over their mouth pretty well for a time, but eventually what's in their heart comes through. Pay attention to how people speak, what they say. Pay attention to the slips of the tongue that occur when a person lets down their guard. Often those slips reveal the true heart of a person. 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are secretly set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. The double life of a wicked person. Oh, they can speak nice sounding words, but in their heart there is wickedness. There's an ulterior motive. I had a man tell me one time, nice guy. Everybody liked him. He was very popular. And he confided in me, in me one time. Why? I do not know. But he said, I have an ulterior motive for everything that I do. Okay. Thank you very much. And that's exactly what the Bible is talking about right here. The double life of a wicked person. And not only in that way, but also in the sense of sneaking around, having to hide what they are doing, sneaking around, as it were, and hiding what they're really thinking. Double life. I couldn't stand that. I don't know. To me, it's cowardly. To me, it's so beneath the dignity of a man to be that way. If you want to be a bad person, then be a bad person. But be a bad person by getting in someone's face with your bad. Don't sneak around pretending to be a nice person, manipulating. I have no, I have no regard for any wicked person who wears a cloak of righteousness or love or peace. But inside, they're full of dead men's bones and worse. At least when you live for God, you can be open. You don't have to sneak around like a coward. You just are what you are. That's what I love about having truth. 10. He crouches and humbles himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He has said in his heart, God hath forgotten. He hideth his face. He will never see it. There it is again. The wicked hopes that God doesn't care and God will not see. In fact, he wants that to be the case so badly that he talks his twisted little mind into believing that it really is true. He lives in non-reality because he loves his sin. But someday, whether he believes it or not, reality will catch up and it's going to come crashing down upon his head. 
and you will find himself in the lake of fire. If you want to study the Word of God with me, you can do that at thebibleversebyverse.com. Remember, Scripture Verse by Verse, Coffee Break, are a listener-supported ministry, and they have been for over 33 years. So pray for me, pray for God's Word, and click the Donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time.